Mormon. 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 Uh, by the way, who's uh, that Francis Farmer who's going to have a revenge on uh, Seattle? What? What about it? What denomination yeah. was she? <laughs> Uh, five what about it? Oh, you um, should read Dreamland by this PI reporter who wrote this book about her. It's really good. She was, you know, you know her story, don't you? She was an actress that was, um, was a, um, she was kind of a foul mouth person, What's a poem you know, she and wrote? she, and she hated the whole, um, Hollywood scene and she expressed her hatred for them publicly and so, um, and she also, when she was like, I think she was 15, she entered this essay contest when she was living here in Seattle entitled God is Dead. And uh, a lot of people accused her of being a communist. Hmm. And then she went to New York and, and uh, was a part of this um, acting troupe. And so it supposedly had communist ties too. And uh, so then there's this big conspiracy amongst a judge, a very well-known, prominent judge here in Seattle, and a bunch of other people who had ties with Hollywood, and they basically just set her up and ruined her life. You know, they, um, you know, had some pictures taken of her when she was arrested for drunk driving, and um, it just—it was a big, huge scandal. And she eventually was sent to a mental institution and given a lobotomy and raped every day for years, and just totally abused, and ended up like working at a at a um, Four Seasons restaurant alone and dying by herself. There's a still Bainbridge a Island. Down. That's where she was uh, institutionalized, right over there. Mm -hmm. There's this whole broken down like, hmm. infirmary there. For years, every night, there were lines of um, custodians, friends, and, and people, you know, part of the staff who would wait in line to rape her every day. You know, she went through a lot of shit. And it just disgusts me, you know, to know that there are some of the people that are part of that conspiracy are living here in Seattle in their comfortable, cushy little homes with their families. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's 20, you know, it's 40 years after the fact, and it's just, uh, it just God, makes me want to kill him. Yeah. And they're still living here as good say. citizens. God, why was there Auschwitz? Well, I'm a just God, not a fair one.